Howdy folks, my name is Lanso90 and welcome back to my tutorial series for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, stable version point F. We're about done clearing out like all the zombies from the streets. That won't mean that there isn't more in houses or something. I'm just trying to get them out of the streets so we can loot in peace, take apart cars without getting ganked while we're trying to work on them outside. Things like that, but we're nearly done here. A SWAT zombie. I want your armor, SWAT zombie. I want your armor, something awful. The only thing that gives me any fear with you is that your armor might be too hard to break with our nail bat, but I could possibly go get the shotgun with slugs and take you out. Now we can hit him just fine. Your skill in piercing weapons has increased it too. And break the scrap. <laughs> That's a particular situation where I was like, eh, that could go pretty south pretty quickly. I do know there's some other zombies. Well, that didn't last long. Okay, tough one's dead. Bunch of zombie zombies. I'm probably just gonna drag them to this window. Ye olden window. slow zombies. I think they're having trouble staying on me because there's so many animals out there. They're going really slow. What are they doing? <laughs> they they must be changing targets because I've never seen the zombies be that slow. That's really weird. They're having a really hard time finding me for some reason. What the heck is going on? <laughs> what are they doing? That was really weird. They're going. So oh, they've died before. See how this this zombie here doesn't have anything on it. It died before, and then then it gets smashed. So I've never seen that before, where they actually like move slower because they've died before. But yeah, when things die and stand back up, they lose all their clothes. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but that's how it works. But that must have like permanently lowered their speed as well. Uh, where is the here? There you are. Yes, forward for the underbrush just to make that go away. What have we got here? A duty belt, leather back leather belt used by police officers. It has several pouches and holder for a baton. Damn. <laughs> Nothing else of value on them. It's. Uh... A SWAT zombie body say just dead body huh this might be one of those situations where we might want to dissect them or even just butcher them butcher the SWAT zombie full butchery where do you see a tough zombie at down there That's kind of why you want to kill all the zombies in the town before you do anything that takes a long time. Because things will just pop out of the ground and annoy you. <laughs> While you're trying to do something that takes a long time. There we go. Jeez. Nope. Nothing. That's unfortunate. Some zombies have, like, metal and stuff infused into their body or Kevlar infused into their body. In that case, though, he did not. Better to have loved and lost than not to have loved at all, though. Okay. Down secured. What is going on? Oh, it's a drawbridge. What the heck? Weird. Bridgehead. Ground. 
Is there a way to lower the drawbridge? Weird. I've never seen that before. All right. So the town's cleared out. Let's head home. That's mostly clear out. There's still some zombies around inside of houses in particular. Let's turn on safe mode though, because I'm gonna be start gonna start moving around really quick. Now that it's mostly safe. And we're gonna unload this, which is gonna take a while because there's actually a lot of stuff in here. And then we'll probably start working on a vehicle. Or at least we gotta get our mechanics skill up. So we'll read whatever mechanics books we have. So we gotta get to level four before we can do like serious work. And we're almost there, we just need one level. Why is your icon green, man? That's, that's a bit of a problem. <laughs> it's green on the mini map at least. All right. I kinda wanna move this guy. Because he's where I stand to unload things, you know. I wonder if I can... Can I just walk him? Sort of. Shows... I wish I would just move him one tile at a time. Can I grab you? <laughs> Oh, there's swap positions. Okay. That's better. I know I could talk to him and, like, try to walk him into the right spot. I think it wouldn't work that well. All right. That should be better. That keeps him out of my way. All right. Sorting time. ooh -wee. Okay. This is tools. Unfortunately, there's not going to be much in the tool section, I don't think, here. Our battery can go there, at least. Charcoal can go there. Wire. Duct tape. Do, 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 do. Lots of things that need disassembled. Heavy duty tow cable can go in the tools pile, though. As can the jackhammer. Batteries and law is. And find glasses tool. Matchbooks, repair kit. I have been putting them here. They don't they're a little different though. Nail gun, I will consider a tool, even though it can be used as like a actual gun. A chipper tool. Uh food, candy, seeds, almonds. Food food food. Shovel tool. Candy. Yeah, detergent stays. All this stays. Stay, stay, stays. Stay, stay, stay. Stay, stay. And the big one, the workshop toolbox. Okay. Now, vehicle pile. Watch. Cufflinks. Blind earlings. Okay. Oh, the wallets. Lots of wallets. Ammo and gun pile, bird shot, baseball bats. Why well, I've been covering the cudgel around actually. A backup weapon, I suppose, but. Uh, the rest of this kind of stays. Sulfuric acid needs to get moved into a spot. Hard hat can go here though. Laptop can go there. Oh, shotgun slugs. Shotguns. Okay. 
now. Books. Everything highlighted in red is usually a book. USB drives have actually been going up in here. It's the cut up pile. So, cell phone, cell phone. If this is a bonus camera, it can be cut up. Flashlights. Handheld game systems. I believe this hot plate can. I'm going to have to double check though. MP3 players can be plastic sheets, a pair of binoculars, smartphones. Up here, earring goes here, the map goes there. Dirty clothes that I need to repair or clean for various reasons. Oop. Now I'm just going to grab everything else because my inventory should be able to. Wow, no. Everything but that. All right. Sulfuric acid, you are a resource. You go here. Soda goes there. The flyers go up here. Wallet goes there. Keep, keep, keep. Keep, 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 keep. Oh. Huh? Oh, that's the hunting knife. Where's the crowbar thing? The leather belt! Perfect. Okay. I will accept that. All right. Very hungry. Should just top ourselves off real quick. Eat the apple because it's going to go bad. Uh, drink some fruit juice, I suppose. Or turgid. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a word that gets me every time I see it. Okay. Get items, soldering iron, sewing kits. First things first, I like to just repair what I'm wearing, if at all possible. That took a lot of tries, but it did work. And, oh, not good enough at it. Can't repair any of that. Okay. Clothing washing time. There's a lot of it this time, so I'm just going to grab my cart, toss everything in the cart. Except the detergent and washing to tool. Washing kit. I'm going to keep that in my inventory. So grab my soap bars. I don't know if I have enough detergent. Do the same thing every time. Gotta wash items. Everything. Fortunately, the everything button doesn't work. Everything button's comma. It's not working here. Yum. Okay. So bars and detergents. Get rid of them. Washing kits. Okay. Some of this stuff needs cut up and some of it we need to look at. So, that's the cut up pile. This is our stuff. I need to look at the helmet. No, I don't. I need to cut up the helmet. I need to keep the, EVA, the PBA mask, though. And the flame resistant hood. Gas mask can go. Headlamp can go. Leather can go. That's just my nail bat. 
I'm probably going to be making a new one, but I don't think we'll get anything out of the nail bat. Combat boots can go. Motorcycle boots can go. Uh, one pair of turnout boots can go. Tactical gloves can go. A turnout coat can go. One pair of turnout trousers can go. Everything else we want to keep. Butcher in time. I do the quick ones first. Start with like one second, two seconds, zero seconds. <laughs> four, four days to disassemble everything once. So uh, don't make that mistake. I'll be here. You'll be here a long time. All right, let's get. See, shift M, right? For just the stack? I think so. Don't want to accidentally press comma. That caused me some issues. Chunks of rubber. Okay. Then a lot of this stuff just needs unloaded. Smartphones can't be unloaded, but I try anyway every time. <laughs> oh, uh, one camera's mine. Uh oh, that's actually a problem. I don't know which camera's mine now. Didn't think about that. <laughs> uh, I changed the battery on mine. It should be this one. possible there's like pictures on these cell phones and stuff but I don't think I'm gonna bother the lighter is a little different because it has liquid in it they'll tell me where to put it in that won't work oops uh, all these there gas mask might be crafting into something later my refillable lighter anyway uh by fruity <laughs> not my camera i should drop my stuff before i do stuff like that just so i know like where my stuff's at and where the the stuff i don't need is yeah this is my refillable lighter anyway so our character wants to start a fire real quick so we're gonna Light up. Must have something I can smoke nearby. <laughs> Happily light a fire. Butcher. I've got Gabe systems go apart real quick. Weirdly enough. It's a lot of plastic, but that's fine by me. Hot plate should unload too, right? Unless they've changed it. I did have to, did need to double check though if there was a, a hot plate in our tool pile. Should be. Better do it this way. There is. Okay. That's what I thought. Just wanted to be sure. All right. So this is all stuff I want to repair. stuff down All right, this I'm gonna grab everything except what I need might need the hunting knife so I'm gonna keep it I need the crowbar so I'm gonna keep it don't believe you game I believe that I can pick all that up. I'm pretty sure I did. All right. I have to reload the sewing kit. I think we're almost through the mouth thread. No, I'm not. All right. Activate sewing kit. Consistent hood. 
I just want to see what everything's capable of when it's at max quality. So otherwise, it's not a fair comparison. Hmm, that's actually a little bit of a problem. Elbow pads. So I carry on charges. All right. That means it is time to do 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 do. No, it's time to cut up some string. So give me like four of these strings. I'm going to drop them in a different pile so that I can do butcher all. Assemble everything once. Assemble everything once. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thread. Eat. All right, back to business. Sewing kit. Turn out code. Uh. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, I don't know if I want to use my Kevlar though. Kevlar are so good. Do no max for now. Some Kevlar as well, because some things are gonna need are gonna need that Kevlar, but I'm just using no max to repair that. And so it gets out of ammo. <laughs> You're lying to me, Gordon. There we go. All right, now we can make some fair comparisons. Step away from my stuff, so it's a little bit easier. All right. The sheath is going on the waist leg layer. Is there anything that will interfere with that? Gonna go to our legs. I have a quiver on one leg. That's going to... That's going to interfere with that, but I could probably put it on the other one. Where? Let's make sure it went on a different leg. It did not. So I think to deal with this, we go to our inventory, select the sheath and press change side. Now you can see there's no bonus encumbrance, so it should be fine. Indeed it is. I don't know if the sheath is gonna be that great. Let's try to activate it just to see what it can fit. It can fit the hunting knife. It was in the ankle holster before. But you know. Six to one, half a dozen to the other, but hypothetically, the ankle holster will eventually be able to hold some kind of gun. Activates. Apparently, I can. Apparently, I put safety glasses in the ankle holster. <laughs> Oh no, we might not need both. Eventually we might find something else for our legs to go there, but for now I'm not going to worry about it. All right, comparison. Oh, my, my bum's starting to hurt. Not going to lie. It hurts pretty bad. All right, flame-resistant gloves versus tactical gloves. Tactical gloves are better in every way, shape, and form, except fire protection, but honestly, this is close to the skin, so that's not actually what we want to compare it to. We want to compare it to the medical gloves. And they are more protective than the medical gloves in every way, shape, and form, except for environmental and acid protection. Which causes me... Uh, get breathing. 
unbelievable. One protection. Do have 100% coverage though, it seems pretty nice. I think we're gonna switch them. Wear, make resistant gloves, drop, medical gloves. I think the protection is worth it. Comparison. Why I'm carrying around safety glasses. I think I just grab them in case they can be used to craft something. Resistant hood compared to motorcycle helmets, probably no contest, it's just a hood, yeah. But it is another thing where it's like eh, it does give fire protection, might want to keep it around just in case we need it. I mean, the police duty belt's gotta be better than the leather belt, it's just gotta be. It's not, <laughs> but it is damaged, so it might not be a fair comparison. That's weird, though. I bet it can fit like a gun and stuff, though. Keep it around until such a time I can repair it, then we can get a better comparison. Firefighter PBA mask versus the motorcycle helmet. Covers the eyes and mouth. Protection on non-turned on is a little bit more important. Head protection, we just ignore. Mouth encumbrance goes down by five. But the defense is cut in half. And those can be activated for some huge, huge protection levels. But as it is, I don't think I can justify it. Or comparison time. Turn out coats compared to nothing, honestly, because there's nothing on our outer layer. But we can do, like, leather body armor. But yeah, right now, this, just the case with this is it's just too warm out. In winter time, we might be able to throw this on. But right now, it's just, it's, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't really matter that it's better because it's hot out. Turn out trousers with R. I think that would also be leather body armor. They actually are on the outer layer, but again, it's just going to be too hot. Even though it's, it would be great. I'd love to be wearing these, but I can't justify it in the summertime. Winter time. <laughs> oh, just you wait. All right. Chitin arm guards versus elbow pads. The chitin arm guards are just way better. In every way, shape, and form. Sorry, elbow pads. You showed up at the wrong period of time. If you showed up earlier in the game, you would have had a chance. Turn out boots compared to steel toes. I don't see any way in which they're better than the steel toes because steel toes are amazing. And yeah, they're three times as encumbering. They do have more coverage, which is nice. Way less cut and ballistic protection, though. Better other protections, though. And even the bash is higher, which is interesting. But that's a lot more encumbrance. I think it's worth it. And there you go. That is our decisions made. Where's my new baseball bat? Because I'm going to turn you into a new male bat. Uh, crafts, weapon, pistol stock. Or you see, Ivan. All right, where's my new bat? Big damage. You can see it's actually, it's actually showing how the damage is going up with our level. Well, it's not showing how, but you can see that it's going up as we... <laughs> Ooh. Actually, like to do a side-by-side comp -side comparison. Broken nail bat versus repaired nail bat. And you can kind of see what I mean. That as it gets damaged, stats drop. Oh, baby. All right. Sorry, old nail bat. Sorry, old friend. You served us well. But you are beaten. We do have the crap beat out of you. We can try, though. I guess I should have tried, did that before I made a new one, but we have repair kits. So I'm just going to unload this repair kit because it's almost empty. Oh, well, we can get out taking it apart, but we'll think about it. The new one. 
This should be able to repair our crowbar. <laughs> also get a lot of other options. You can chop down a tree chunk into logs, chop down a tree, cut a log into planks, right an item. Oh, you want repair an, an item though. Well, actually, it allows repairing chitin, but if it's that can't be upgraded. Yeah. Hey, what? What about my crowbar? Because it's made out of metal? Huh, it is. It would have been able to repair the nail bat, but it can't repair the crowbar. That figures. Oh, well. I... I sort of tried. stuff now my stuff drop these arrows because I'm just gonna make new ones put the nail bat, nail bat in the vehicle because I'd rather just have my hands free while we're trying to craft things but we're all out of time for this video I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember to hit the like button. Keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, I hope you have a good day.